Hi, my name is Matt Badgley. I'm an Agile product consultant here at Version 1. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about the State of Agile Survey, the, the ninth annual State of Agile Survey. Uh, first off, you should know you can get it from stateofagile.com. And we had over 4,000 participants of this survey. 94% uh, of those people actually practice Agile. Chatting here internally, you might say that might be a little bit biased. I feel that it gives us a better result of seeing what's happening in the industry, what's working and what's not working. So first off, you should know Agile's growing. Agile is the thing we see now. So whereas in the, in the world past, we used to see teams where they would ask, are you doing a waterfall project? Are you doing an Agile project? Or it'd just be waterfall dealing with Agile. Now, today, we're seeing the majority of teams respond that, hey, we're just using Agile. The other big thing about the growth is we're seeing over 50% of people actually are coming from organizations of 1,000 or more. That's a really big deal. So no longer are we just saying, hey, there's those grassroots guys doing Agile. The whole organization's now looking at Agile. So that's all that gets into the next thing, scaling. So there's a ton of frameworks out there that are emerging. And of course, the largest one's probably a scaled Agile framework. The other key thing that we're seeing in scaling Agile is people creating their own. And what I mean by that is their own branded Agile, their own branded ways to do scaling. And this is really fascinating to me because culture's always been a barrier of adoption. And what you see people to battle this culture is to go ahead and come up with their own name for Agile or their own Agile practices. And by doing that, of course, it gets better buy-in with, with the organization. Now, the third thing is probably not as positive, but yet it's something that we should note. Engineering practices are going down. And what we're seeing there is over the last five years, a steady decline in engineering practices such as TDD, you know, unit testing, you know, refactoring, uh, you name it, pretty much all engineering um, practices, engineering practices are going down. That's not, you know, again, my, my personal opinion, hopefully that's the course correct, because I don't think people can be successful without it, but it's something to take note of. Those are my three points from the State of Agile survey that I found fascinating. Please go out there and check it out, stateofagile.com. I'm Matt Badgley, and thanks again for listening.